listen, I'm going to carry this around with me. Carry this around with me so I can have wet hair. And so I can stay cool in Arizona. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey, you guys, what's up? I, I feel like I do a lot. I, I mean, like, literally, I do a whole lot of stuff when it comes to wigs, and sometimes it tires me out. Like, listen, I got lazy, and I had, like, 11 wigs that I had to prepare. They weren't all for me, okay? So uh, let me get into this. So I worked with this company, I think it's like the fourth time, and their hair is, their company is called Ion Hair. I'm lying, it's probably more than the, the fourth time. But either way, Ion Hair, let me tell y'all, Ion Hair. Get this stuck in your heads, in your brains, get it stuck, get it stuck. Ion Hair. They have like some really decent prices when it comes to hair, but... It's good quality, okay? So they got good quality. I have bleached. I have dyed. I have done a lot of different things to every last wig that I got except for this one, okay? The only thing that I did to this was is bleach the darn knots, okay? And pre-pluck them. That's it. I didn't dye it. I left it alone. This time, I got a 20. I, I believe this is 22 inches. I'm, it might be 20. I cannot remember because I didn't ask for a specific length, so... In the box i threw the box out but what you do get in the box is you do get an elastic band you do get a wig cap and a plastic bag you know what i'm saying it's a cute little pink and white box it's really small you know it's it's cute you know what i'm saying you could put some stuff in it or you could throw it out whatever i believe the density is 150 okay so it's a 13 by 16 13 by 6 inch deep heart lace frontal so you know when it's deep it's all the way back here baby all the way back here so you can see that i did bleach it and you can see right here where i didn't leave the bleach on too long so once i bleached the knots in my unit then um shampoo this portion okay with the sally beauty supply store purple shampoo i'll slather it up real good on all the entire lace where i put the bleach at and then i'll rinse it right off then i'll go back and do that same step again but this time instead of rinsing it off I'm going to leave it on for like two to four hours only because I've noticed that if you leave it on it will definitely take those orange brassy tones out of the lace and the the freaking knots and I pre-plugged the knots in this and it was a loose wave and you know once you pre-plug when you pre-plug you definitely have to rewash it so that the curls could come back in it if it's curly hair well and that's what i always do but i didn't do that this time because i just didn't feel like it i was really tired and i had so many things to do but then i also thought about it like you know what i'm gonna see if this hair actually will curl back with just me spritzing it with water and conditioner inside of it so the wig comes with the combs okay and i do like where the combs are placed at and they're also placed here in the back and one in the middle and adjustable strap. I did forget to put on a darn elastic band, but I'm really not too concerned about that because, you know, their wig caps do actually fit pretty decent. So, all right, guys. So first things first, let's put this wig on. Okay. Let's get it all situated. The wig is a little bit big, like meaning the hair goes past my ear tabs or my ears or the ear tabs go past my earlobes. So I'm just going to take my two clips. I told you guys, you always should have some clips. So that way, just style the hair and applying it makes a life a lot easier so you can get you some clips at the dollar tree you know stuff like that sometimes the wig companies will come with clips i do believe that ions does come with clips so as you guys see i just took my rat tail comb and parted the hair right above my ear so that way it'll fall flat to my head and it'll fit properly and it'll look more natural and you just take a comb and just part it you know and just cut it off don't be afraid to cut off that excess lace because trust me when i tell you you will definitely need for your wig to fit properly so sometimes we do need to customize them and so once I've cut off that portion of the lace, I'm just going to do the same thing on the opposite side, which is making sure that the wig fits properly by taking my rat tail com tongue comb and placing it right on above my ear and just parting it and cutting away. Like I was saying, don't be afraid to cut the lace or extra pieces of the hair off because you do want your wig to look natural as possible. And most of the time these wigs are standard size and everybody has a different head. 
Okay. So now on to making my sideburn hairs. I just take my rat tail comb and I kind of like diagonally position the comb so that way it just ends up like this. I just like my sideburns to be kind of like diagonal. You know, because most of the time when you brush your own hair, it kind of naturally looks like that. So that's the reason why I did that. And I did forget you do want to make sure to clean up your hairline. So I'm just going to wipe off some of this foundation and makeup from my hairline so that way my wig will apply a lot better and I'm just using a baby wipe you can just basically use whatever you like some people like to use alcohol a baby wipe will do the trick plus alcohol will continuously dry your skin out so I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the hair to where I want it to go which is my sideburn hairs and I'm just going to take some of my got to be gel which is the glam force one and I'm just going to apply that on the side of my sideburns while I'm talking to my husband you know that's what I'm talking to in this particular video and as you guys see I'm just going to sculpt it and brush it you know I'll fix it up later after that but for this method I'm just gonna do something different I'm just pulling some of the wispy hairs down I'm not really pulling them out all the way I'm just pulling them out the way so that way I could take my hairspray and just spray it alongside on the lace you could do it underneath or on the top or you can do it both. If you do it both, your wig is going to really hold for days. But as you guys see, I'm just taking my rat tail comb and I'm just brushing the hair downwards. So that way, you know, I'm just getting ready to, you know, basically style it, I guess. Yeah, somewhere like that. And I'm going to repeat that same step on the opposite side. So this is where I just actually pull it out because I want you guys to see. As you see, I've made a part and I'm spraying the hairspray behind the actual wispy hairs. And I'm just going to take my blow dryer. And as you see, I'm just taking the comb and I'm just brushing it or rubbing it into my hair or my skin or my head, whatever. And I'm just drying the hairspray. Now, first of all, if you don't have a blow dryer, I say this on a lot of my videos, you really don't need one with this hairspray because it dries pretty fast and you don't really need one but just you know spray in sections don't spray the whole entire thing at one time so i'm not really concerned about the baby hairs right now so that's the reason why i'm brushing them back or the wispy hairs because i'm going to style them afterwards you do remember or i forgot basically that i have to wet the hair so i'm going to find me a part i'm going to make me a part of where i want the wig to be parted and it's a deep part the the, the knots bleach so nice in this wig like for real ion has some really nice hair it's always a pleasure to work with them and plus it's affordable it's kind of like in the middle price range so being that this is loose hair you know normally i will wash it after i pre-pluck it but i just got lazy i really didn't feel like it so i decided i was just going to try it out on camera and see if it curled up and a lot of times when i do come back on camera most of the hair is already curled but you know I wanted to do it on camera so that way you guys can see how it looks not curled and how it looks curled now trust me being that the hair was not curled when you see me I had to brush it out you could definitely take this hair and flat iron it straighten it heat curl it if you want to but also keep in mind if you continuously put heat to curly hair or loose wave hair the curl pattern will be lost so you want to make sure not to put too much heat on your hair and this is the part where i'm going to go ahead and style my wispy hairs or baby hairs now as you guys see i'm taking the end of the rat tail comb and i'm just placing some gel on the root of the hair that is what was on the back of my hand which was the gel i just take a little bit and i put it on the root of the hair i really don't want it on the entire front of the baby hairs because you just need a little bit on the root so that way the hair will stay in place and then the rest of the hair will be loose and free flowing it won't be you know stuck to your skin so I just cut off a little bit and now I'm going to take that rat tail comb with just a tiny bit of gel and place it on the root of the hair so that way sculpting of the hair will be a lot easier and I'll repeat this step onto the next side.
so this is the final look the end of the video hope you guys had a or enjoyed the video you know so the hair actually curled really quickly i was impressed you know what i'm saying i just put carol's daughter's um leave-in conditioner hair milk is the original one i just put that in there a couple of drops of that and some warm water or cool water just let it be warm you know what i'm saying and then shake it up and this is what i put in there you really don't want to spray just plain water on it because it's going to dry the hair out but i was really surprised because normally when i want the hair to just curl up like curl up curl up like this i'll just wash it you know i'll just wash it especially after i don't went ahead and like pre-plucked it and stuff i'll definitely just wash it but you know i might not have to do that but i do like to have my curls kind of dry when I do my video only because when the curls are dry it's just fuller but it still look nice though I like the look of wet hair okay. listen I'm gonna carry this around with me be shaking it up you know I have to refill it up every night carry this around with me so I can have wet hair and so I can stay cool in Arizona so you guys check out Eon or Ion here down below. This is their loose wave 13 by 6 frontal. I'll definitely link everything below for you guys so that you can check them out. They got some good wigs, you know what I'm saying? They're like middle price range. It all depends on what the length is that you buy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you get like a 10 inch, then it's definitely gonna be cheap. But you know, the longer the hair, the more the coins. But I love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, best of thumbs it up. Don't do nothing but thumbs it up, okay? We didn't even got to watch the whole thing. Just thumbs it up. But I'll see you guys on a soon-to-come video.